on today's episode of Tech Tips with STM, we will learn how to disassemble a primary clutch. This particular clutch is a three arm clutch, so it has three main cam arms. So that means the cover has six bolts in it that have to come off. The springs in these primary typically are not that stiff, so you can hold them by hand. Once you have the cover off, you'll be able to see the spider nut, spring spacer if applicable. The first part of this assembly, take the spider off as a spider nut. So that's take special tools to hold the clutch properly. The primary clutch holding tool. You can find this on our website, part number one zero zero one zero seven zero. To use this tool, start by taking the aluminum nut off the top. The back of this has a pin in it where you can fit it in a trailer hitch receiver with a pin or you put it into a vise of some sort to hold it really tight. The bottom of the clutches have three holes which will line up with the three holes in the holding tool the three pins in the holding tool. Slide the clutch on. Line them up. Put the nut back in. You want to spin this until you get a little bit of resistance so that way you know it's holding the clutch because these nuts and spiders are torched down 500 foot-pounds. This is with red Loctite, the spider nut. The spider itself is with green Loctite, both at 500 foot-pounds of torque. The next tool we will need is the spider nut socket tool. It's a very deep inch and 7 16 socket attached to a bar so you can put a cheater bar or something strong in here. Again, with that being torqued at 500 foot-pounds, it does take quite a bit of force. Part number of this part, 1001072. This simply slides over the tool, line up with the nut, again with your big bar, you're going to spin it counterclockwise. This is a right hand thread on this clutch. If you have a clutch that's left hand thread, the spider will be engraved LH. does often require heat to heat these up to break loose the Loctite. Map gas is the best. The next step, you would need the spider spanner tool or spider wrench. Three pins for the three arms, four arms have four pins for the handle. Again, so you can put a bar on there or something to create a lot of force. Again, after you heat this up really well with map gas, you can use this tool. It lines up in the holes on the spider itself. And again, this is the right hand thread. Typically with Loctite, you'll have to use a bar on this the entire way until the spider is off. Is loose, you can slide it off. Once the spider is removed, this bearing cap is often going to be stuck with Loctite. Take a small screwdriver and lightly clean up the Loctite on the threads. After you do that, you should be able to remove your spider cap. Your thrust washer, which there's two, you can pull the sheave off now if you need. 
thrust washer. If you need to replace these, these are part number 1001019. They're sold each. Bearing. This is what's considered a sleeved bearing. Bearing with black sleeve around it. This is a 47 millimeter. This part number is 1001000. The non sleeved, it's just this inner piece without a sleeve, is a 45 millimeter bearing. Part number HK3845 30 2RS. All can be found on our website. Then the last is the other thrust washer. Again, there's two. One was on top of the bearing, one was on bottom. You can put it back together. One thrust washer, bearing. Typically, we like the silver side up, so you're going to put the black side down. Make sure that's greased before it goes on. The other thrust washer. Another tip is before you put anything on the threads, make sure you get that all really cleaned up, like a wire wheel or something on all the threads, get all that Loctite, everything, get it really cleaned, so that way you have good adhesion with the new Loctite. The sheave, finally the bearing cap, then you can start to reassemble the spider. Again, the spider goes on green Loctite at 500 foot-pounds of torque. Green Loctite, three strips, starting in at the top, down with your strips, so that way the Loctite doesn't pull at the bottom. Install the spider. At this point, you should be able to spin it by hand. After you get it snug, before the Loctite starts to cure. Again, with your spider tool. Again, this is the three-arm spider tool, 1001020. The forearm part number, forearm tool part number is 1001032. Again, with your holding tool in something, a vise or a trailer hitch receiver, and put a bar on that, tighten that. And put a piece on here to where you could torque that at 500 foot pounds, which is recommended. After the spider's torqued, take a rag, clean off the threads a little bit from the, any Loctite that could have been left from the spider. I'm going to put red Loctite on the nut. Easiest way to do it is if you're using like the glue stick style, wipe it in here with your finger or again three spots on here. Again, right hand thread. Spider nut tool, which is an engine 716 socket. Part number for this tool is 1001072. Again, that nut also is supposed to be locked at 500 foot pounds. After you have the nut on, the spring space will go back in, if applicable. The spring would go on next. Then primary cover. Again, these springs typically are not that stiff. You can hold them by hand. Start your screws. Oh, one thing that's very important, most of our covers have a cutout in them. Make sure that lines up over the spider. If not, you'll never be able to get the primary to full shift. It'll stop the clutch. See how it lines up? It'll stop the clutch before it gets to full shift if you don't do that.
These all get torqued at 105 inch pounds for the cover bolts. Loctite is not necessary, but if you would like, blue Loctite would work just fine. It's the proper way to disassemble your SCM primary clutch for any maintenance that could be necessary.